Well, new at five, more than $12 million in federal funding will go to a handful of Cal State University campuses. One of them is Cal State San Bernardino. That's right. That school is using the money to beef up its cybersecurity program. NBC4's Ane Arreola has those details. Inside this classroom at Cal State San Bernardino, you will find a high tech playground for those majoring in cybersecurity. The United States has a deficit of over 600,000 cybersecurity people, and we need to increase that produ production in order to protect this country. There's, this is actual cyber attacks that are going on live. Professor Tony Colson is the director of the Cybersecurity Center on campus. He says the program began in 2009 with only 17 students. They now have over 600 enrolled. My ideal job is probably to be self employed, probably have my own business, be the next Microsoft. Microsoft or Apple. The overall goal is to attract more career professionals to this complex field. And to help them in this mission, the university was just awarded a nearly $1 million in federal funding in an effort to advance critical research projects. And for Professor Colson, it doesn't get any bigger than cyber threats. The United States by far is the most attacked nation in the world. The university says they will invest the money in the creation of a tech workforce hub, a security operations center right on campus that will allow students to execute projects, intern with companies, and work remotely while viewing sensitive information in a newly secured location. I would be looking at logs, um, looking for traffic for anomalies. Um, that deviate from what would normally be found on a day to day. The center would be equipped with screens showing the volume of cyber attacks happening in real time and students focusing on coding techniques, malware analysis, and viruses coming from different devices while working with drones, robots, and artificial intelligence. We could probably um, do some more work with hardware. I know that costs a bit of money, but with a million dollars, you can do a lot. The federal funding comes at a time when students are facing a tuition hike. And while some wondered whether the money could have been allocated to help alleviate the increase, the funds were earmarked for university projects focused on community impact. And today, these students are eager to see how new technology can teach them how to keep the rest of the world safe. In San Bernardino, Annette Arriola, NBC4 News.